Hello, this is Sam from TJ Snow and IndustrialSpringBalancer.com. Let me give you an overview today of spring balancers and how they can be useful in your business. Spring balancers are designed for a certain weight range. And in general, they're, it, you need to know that there are two styles of spring balancers. Physically inside, there are spring balancers that have a cylindrical drum and there are spring balancers that have a conical drum. The difference between those is it, with this, the spring gets more, uh, gets uh, tighter as it gets pulled out. With the uh, conical drum, uh, they call it the, a zero gravity spring balancer. The load on the balancer uh, is able to float and stay more consistent. And the, uh, the pull uh, doesn't change as much as the balancer is going in and out. The cylindrical drum is a much more economical option and for a lot of applications is perfectly sufficient. But for heavier weights and if you're wanting that floating action, you're looking for a spring balancer with uh, the conical drum on it. Spring balancers have a wide range of weight capacities that they're able to handle, uh, all the way from under a half a pound, all the way up through almost 400 pounds. You want to size your spring balancer to your load, and each one has a range. You want your load to usually be in the higher part of the range for that particular balancer. Application-wise, uh, spring balancers have a really wide range of applications. Um, really, your imagination is the limit. Everything from suspending cables overhead uh, to tool benches with tools hanging overhead to fork trucks, uh, suspending scanning guns on fork trucks. The tool balancers are a, a help uh, for you to keep that tool close by. On the large end, the tool balancer is able to take a heavy load and make that load act as if it is almost weightless. So then you have a 400 pound load that you're able to move uh, with just easily without any strain and allow the operator to manipulate that load around. An important note is that a spring balancer is not a load lifting device. Um, it's not really designed uh, for you to uh, manipulate it into position without a load on it, attach a load and relocate that load to another place and unhook it. That's really the job of a hoist, not a spring balancer. So for an air tool, you've really got two options as to how to approach using a spring balancer. One option is a spring balancer where the air hose is actually the suspension mechanism for the, uh, for the tool. And we've got those in a couple of different size ranges. If your tool is heavier or uh, you just uh, prefer it, you can also do an external air hose uh, situation and use that with a standard spring balancer. The advantage there is that uh, as far as where uh, that air hose is easily replaceable and, um, and you have a wider range of weight capacities available to use with your uh, tool. One of your options when choosing a lower and mid capacity spring balancer is what suspension mechanism do you want? You've got the choice between a stainless steel cable or a, a, a synthetic rope. And depending on your application, one may make more sense than the other. One of the considerations that you may need to take into account is whether you need explosion resistance in your application. We do have European spec ATEC rated explosion resistant balancers available. They may be appropriate for your application. If you've got any questions about spring balancers and your application, feel free to contact us. Information is available at industrialspringbalancer.com. You can order there online or feel free to contact us for additional information.